For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, it's by the tender mercies of God that you have this farmer's market here and you don't even thank God and you try to shut God up. You realize that these very fruits and vegetables come from God. Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And in Genesis chapter 3, man disobeyed God. Because in Genesis chapter 2, God told Adam, Thou shalt not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. One chapter later, man ate the fruit that God told him not to eat. They disobeyed God. That's why you got sin. That's why you have hospitals. That's why you have rotten music. That's why you got health problems. That's why there's death. God told man not to do something, and man did it anyway. And today, God tells man to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you won't do it. From Genesis 2 and 3 to 2021, we have done a great flip. From doing what God told us not to do to today doing what God told us not to do today we don't do what God tells us to do. We are in complete rebellion against God. We don't do what God says, and the foolish American says, oh, God bless America. When she lavishes in her sin, and no, God don't bless America because she's not worthy of your blessings any longer. Because we are in 2021, and when the Gospels preach in Daytona Beach, Florida, you got the city of Daytona Beach, you got the people of the farmer's market, and you got Daytona police trying to stop the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Don't bless America, Lord. Don't do it. Because they don't want to listen to you. They don't want to hear from you. And even Christians don't want the word of God. They want to have programs and entertainment. Don't worry, because it's only going to get worse. When the Bible predicts and prophesies of the man of sin coming after the rapture of the church, but right now, your main trouble is that you are a sinner. And when sinners die, they don't go to heaven. 
they go to hell. In order to go to heaven, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Saved from what, preacher? Hell. You're not going to go to heaven without faith and trust and belief in Jesus Christ alone. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Life is a gift of God. It's Jesus Christ. It's not religion. Church can't save you. As a matter of fact, the biblical definition of church is a body of believers. And you're not part of the church till you put faith and trust in Jesus. Well, preacher, I go, I go to church Sunday morning. Are you the church? Have you been bought by the precious blood of Jesus Christ? Have you put your faith and trust in the finished work of Jesus that he suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scripture. I didn't say eat Jesus. I didn't say go to church. I didn't say get baptized. I said believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Believe. Nothing else. On April 25th, 1987, I knelt down, and I put my faith and trust in Jesus. And I ask Jesus Christ to save me. I didn't bring nothing else. I came out of the Catholic Church. I didn't bring Mary to salvation because Mary can't save you. I didn't bring no good works when I came to Jesus because there's none that doeth good. No, not one. It has been all finished and complete by God himself who suffered and died upon Calvary's cross that on the cross before he died God said it is finished. Well, preacher, I'll add a little religion to it. Then it's not finished. It's an added preservative. And God does not take added preservative. And your typical American does not approve of additive in their food. And when you come to God with a Jesus and a little religion, and being good, and whatever you do that is artificial preservative, and that's not the preservative of God, that's Jesus Christ. Jesus said, He is the way the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father 
but by me. That's not my word. That's Jesus' word. And when Jesus says, he is the way, being a Mormon is not a way approved of God. Being a Jehovah Witness is not approved of God. Being a Baptist is not approved of God. Allah is not God. Mary can't save you. There is no hope in the Pope. But only Jesus saves. If you want to go to heaven, you got to do it God's way. And God's way is through the cross of Jesus Christ. There's no other way of hope except the blessed hope that's in Jesus Christ. Anything else but Jesus is a failure. And then when you die, you'll wake up in hell. 